Hello. In this video I'm going to demonstrate a Layer 3 Spineleaf architecture that provides load balancing capabilities based on BGP. A setup is created in a virtualized environment using the HPE VSR virtual services routers and Ubuntu hosts. Of course the Spineleaf architecture as demonstrated is also supported on the Conware based flex fabric switches like the 5900 and 12900 series. This diagram shows the setup of the spine leaf architecture. There are three leaves connected to two spines and there are a couple of Ubuntu hosts connected to each of the leaves. I'm going to show you how to configure this setup from scratch based on the IP address scheme that is defined on the diagram. And as you can also see in the diagram, the links between the spine and the leaf switches are VMNet adapters, VMNet switches. The first step is the configuration of the IP addresses of all, on all the devices. We will start with the spines and then configure the IP addresses of the leaves. In the demonstration I will only show the IP address configuration of one spine and one leaf. The other configuration steps are omitted in this demo but should be clear after showing the setup on one of the spine and one of the leaf switches. The next step is to set up BGP routing. In this configuration we will be setting up a multi-autonomous system BGP network where the spine switches operate in a single autonomous system and each leaf operates in a different autonomous system. So we will be setting up eBGP. Let's start with the spines. On the spines we configure the router ID and create the peering relationships with the leaves. We will be configuring the physical interfaces as peering endpoints. Although peering with loopback interfaces is common practice in a BGP environment, uh, it is not necessary in this architecture because peering is established using single links between the routers. Whenever a link fails, the peer would go down, but the link is down anyway and the traffic has to take another path. If you would have multiple links between a single spine and leaf, you can even consider using a root aggregation.
Once peering is configured, it has to be enabled by enabling the peers in the address family context. So we'll do that on the spines first. Now that the spines are configured, let's configure the leaves. The configuration is similar to configuring the spines, with the exception of adding the networks that we want to advertise into BGP. Best practice is to add the networks that you want to advertise manually into the address family. If you want, you can use root summarization. In order to keep the routing table size low, it is not necessary to advertise the point-to-point -point link subnets. They are directly connected networks and not relevant to the reachability of the networks between the leaves. So only the leaf IP subnets are relevant. Let's check whether routing is working. First we check whether the BGP neighbor sessions are established on the switches. This is working, so the next step is to check the routing table on the leaf switch to see whether we can reach the destination networks.
this is also looking good. If you look carefully, you can see that in order to reach the destination, there's only one next hop in the routing table. The reason for this is that load balancing is not configured for BGP yet. So let's configure load balancing for BGP. This is done by configuring the balance parameter in the address family context. We will be configuring a value of two load balancing paths. If we look at the routing table now, you can see that there are two next hops for the destination network on the leave. So this concludes the configuration of the switches. We can now demonstrate the load balancing functionality. So what we will do is we have two Ubuntu hosts sitting on leave one with IP address 172.16.1.2 and 172.16.2.2. So what we'll do is from host 172.16.1.2 we'll issue a continuous ping to leave two to the Ubuntu host that is connected to leave two and from the 2.2 host we will issue a continuous ping to the host that is connected to leave three. We will use Wireshark to see which path the traffic takes. Uh, and because we're operating in a virtualized environment, so we have to take a trace of either VMNet 6 or VMNet 9. So we issue a ping from the host 1 to, um, to host 3 on the, the host that is connected to leave 2. And you can see that it's not taking the path between leave 1 and spine 1 because we're currently making a trace of VMNet 6. There's no tr ICMP traffic uh, crossing there. So let's issue a ping on the other host. Still there's no traffic, so it's still following um, the path between leaf 1 and spine 1. Let's try another one. And now you can see the hashing algorithm has selected the path between leaf 1 and spine 1 as traffic. So you can see here that it's really load balancing. Now let's do a final check to see whether the uh, other host is using the other path between leave 1 and spine 2 for the, for the traffic. Let's close this file and start a new trace. You can see here that the other uh, ICMP ping is using the other path and that proves that the really the, uh, the the BGP fabric is load balancing. So this concludes this uh, demonstration for the uh, layer 3 spine leaf architecture based on BGP. Thanks for watching.